B-1B Lancer Long-range conventional bomber brief, the B-1B is a conventional, long-range, supersonic, penetrating strike aircraft derived from the cancelled B-1A. The B-1A first flew on December 23, 1974, and four prototypes were developed and tested before program cancellation in 1977. The Reagan administration revived the program as the B-1B in 1981, adding 74,000 pounds of usable payload, improved radar, and reduced radar cross-section, but reducing speed to Mach 1.2. Its three internal weapons bays can carry the largest payload of guided unguided weapons in the Air Force inventory, and its blended wing body and variable geometry wing permit long-range loiter time offensive avionics include terrain following SAR and a fully integrated sniper ATP to track and target moving vehicles. B-1B made its combat debut over Iraq during Desert Fox in 1998. The fleet completed its most comprehensive upgrade to date in September 2020 the three-part integrated battle station. IBS program added an all-digital glass cockpit, fully integrated data link, FIDL, to enhance targeting Los Blas C2, and a central integrated test system, CIS, for real-time simplified troubleshooting. The fleet is also undergoing multifunctional information distribution system joint tactical radio system, MIDS, JTRS, data link modernization to improve situational awareness and retargeting abilities, as well as BLOS cryptography updates to connectivity. The B-1B is USAF's sole long-range anti- Ship missile, RASM, carrier and its range, speed, and payload make it a key power projection asset in USAF's Indo-Asia-Pacific strategy. USAF is expanding the B-1B's capacity to carry future weapons such as hypersonic missiles or 5,000 LB-class guided bombs. Recent demonstrations reconfigured the bomb bay to expand internal capacity, as well as use of the bombers previously. Deactivated external pylons, the load adaptable modular, LAM, pylon system currently in testing would enable carriage of large stores such as the AGM 183 ARRW or future hypersonic weapons. AFGSC retired 17 of the least serviceable airframes in FY21 but is regenerating a previously stored aircraft to replace one damaged beyond repair in a ground fire at Dias in 2022. Another B 1B was severely damaged in a landing accident at Ellsworth January 4. 2023, though all four crew members safely ejected, recent retirements increased the fleet's mission-capable rate, and USAF plans to keep enough B-1BS to maintain capacity until the fleet is fully replaced by the B-21, targeted for 2032. Contractor Boeing, formerly Rockwell International. First flight October 18, 1984, B-1B. Delivered June 1985 to May 1988. IOS of October 1, 1986, Dias AFB, Texas. Production 104. Inventory 45. Operator AFGSC, AFMC. Aircraft location Deus AFB, Texas, Edwards AFB, California, Eglin AFB, Ellsworth AFB, SD. Active variant B1B. Upgraded production version of the B1A. Dimensions span 137 feet, forward sweep to 79 feet, aft sweep, length 146 feet, height 34 feet. Weight max TO 477,000 pounds. Power plant for GE Aviation F101 GE102 augmented turbofans, each 30,780 pounds thrust. Performance speed 900 plus mph at SL, range approximates 7,455 miles, farther. With air refueling. Ceiling, 30,000 plus foot. Armament 84 MK82, 500 pounds, or 24 MK84, 2,000 pounds, general purpose bombs. 84 MK62, 500 pounds, or 8 MK65, 2,000 pounds, quick strike naval mines, 30 CBU-87, 89 cluster bombs or 30 CBU-103, 104, 105 WCMDs, 24 GBU-31 or 15 GBU-38 dams, GBU-54 JDM, 24 AGM-158 AJASM, JSSM or, or RASM. Accommodation, pilot, co-pilot, and two WSOs, offensive, defensive, on aces. 2 zero, zero ejection seats. B-2 Spirit. Long-range heavy bomber. The B-2 is a stealthy, long-range, penetrating nuclear and conventional strike bomber. It is based on a flying wing design combining low observability, LO, with high aerodynamic efficiency. The aircraft's blended fuselage wing holds two weapons bays capable of carrying nearly 60,000 pounds in various combinations. Spirit entered combat during Allied Force on March 24, 1999, striking Serbian targets. Production was completed in three blocks, and all aircraft were upgraded to Block 30 standard with ESA radar. Construction was limited to 21 aircraft due to cost and political considerations and a single B-2 was subsequently lost in a crash at Anderson on February 23, 2008. Modernization is focused on safeguarding the B-2 as 
Penetrating strike capability in high-end threat environments and integrating advanced weapons, recent upgrades significantly enhanced the B-2's ability to deliver precision nuclear and conventional weapons under GPS denied or degraded conditions, the aircraft is now capable of using radar to supply targeting data, or by feeding coordinates to weapons pre-released to thwart jamming, ib 2 a successfully employed the longer-range JSSMER cruise missile in a test launch last December, clearing the way for full integration, ongoing efforts include advanced communications upgrades to provide mobile user objective system, MUOS, secure, jam-resistant SATCOM, and NATO interoperable Saturn UHF, VHF as well as Link-16 based in-flight. Retasking, replacing the primary cockpit displays, advanced IFF, and weapons integration, these upgrades collectively shift the B-2 to an easily upgradable open system architecture to keep pace with emerging threats. USAF is also working to enhance the fleet's maintainability with LO signature improvements to coatings, materials, and radar absorptive structures, such as the Radoman engine inlets, exhausts, the fleet returned to flight. In May 2023 following a six-month fleet-wide standdown in the wake of A pair of landing accidents in 2021 and 2023, which severely damaged two aircraft. USAF plans to retire the fleet once the B-21 Raider enters service in sufficient numbers around 2032. Contractors, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, Vought, Sierra Nevada, ACS. First flight, July 17, 1989. Delivered, December 1993 to December 1997. IOC, April 1997, Whiteman AFB, Missouri. Production, 21. Inventory, 20. Operator, AFGSC, AFMC, ANG, Associate. Aircraft location, Edwards AFB, California, Whiteman AFB, Missouri. Active variant. B-2A production aircraft upgraded to Block 30 standards. Dimensions, span 172 feet, length 69 feet, height 17 feet. Weight, max TO 336,500 pounds. Power plant for GE Aviation F-118 GE 100 turbofans, each 17,300 pounds thrust. Performance, speed high subsonic, range 6,900 miles, farther with air. Refueling, ceiling, 50,000 feet. Armament, nuclear, B-61-7, B-61-12, B-83, or 8 B-61-11 bombs, on rotary launchers. Conventional 80 MK-62, 500 pounds, sea mines, 80 MK-82, 500 pounds, bombs, 80 GBU-38 dams, or 34 CBU-87, 89 munitions, on rack assemblies, or 16 GBU-31 dams, 16 MK-84, 2,000 pounds, bombs, 16 AGM-154 SOs, 16 AGM-158 JSSM, JSSM Urus, or 8 GBU-28 LGBs. Accommodation, two pilots on ACES 2-0, ejection seats. B-21 Raider Long-range heavy bomber The B-21 Raider is a developmental, penetrating strike bomber plan to deliver both conventional and nuclear munitions. The low-observable flying wing design was christened Raider in honor of the World War II Doolittle Raiders, who mounted the surprise attack on Japan in April 1942. Though similar in shape to the B-2, the B-21 features more deeply recessed engine inlets, dual-wheel main landing gear, unique trapezoidal windscreens, and more advanced low-observable designs. The Air Force awarded Northrop Grumman the long-range strike bomber contract in 2015, aimed at developing an affordable, next-generation stealth bomber utilizing modern systems and materials. The type is the Air Force's first new bomber design since the B-2 Spirit, introduced in 1988, and is planned to become the mainstay of the strategic fleet alongside the modernized B-52J, USAF is developing the B-21 as part of a family of systems encompassing complementary ISR, C-2, and electronic warfare platforms and capabilities designed for survivability in high-end threat environments. Northrop Grumman is using digital design techniques to quickly incorporate changes in speed fielding, as well as an open system architecture to easily enable future upgrades and modernization, notional nuclear. Armament includes the planned long-range standoff, LRSO, missile and B-61-12 guided freefall weapons, as well as a range of advanced conventional weapons the FGSC plans to acquire a fleet of at least 100 B-21s would be delivered. Starting in the mid-2020s, concurrent development and low-rate initial production aim to accelerate fielding, starting with the first LRIP contract. Awarded in late 2023, LRIP will notionally include 21 aircraft over 5 lots, followed by full-rate production as soon as FI-25, at least six airframes are in production at Northrop Grumman's Palmdale, California, facility where the initial aircraft was unveiled to the public in December 2022. The first aircraft completed ground testing and taxi trials at Palmdale, before making the type's first flight on November 10, 2023, 
en route to Edwards, the aircraft, dubbed Cerberus, launched flight testing there on January 17, 2024, and will continue. Development and flight testing initial operational aircraft will be delivered to AFGSC's formal training and operational units at Ellsworth, followed by Whiteman and Dias. Contractors, Northrop Grumman, Aircraft, Pratt & Whitney, Engines, Collins Aerospace, GKN Aerospace, BAE Systems, Spirit Aerosystems, Janiki Industries, Advanced Structures. First flight, November 10, 2023. Delivered, November 10, 2023. Present, IOC, Unknown. Production, greater than or equal to 100, projected. Inventory, 1. Operator, AFMC. Planned, AFGSC. Aircraft location, Edwards AFB, California. Test location, planned, Ellsworth. AFB, ND, Whiteman AFB, Missouri, Dias AFB, Texas. Active variant. B-21. Developmental long-range strike bomber. Dimensions span 140 feet, estimated, length 55 feet, estimated, height 18. FT, estimated. Weight, max TO unknown. Power plant, undisclosed number of Pratt and Whitney engines. Performance, speed high subsonic, estimated, range intercontinental. Ceiling, unknown. Armament, nuclear and conventional, planned. Accommodation, two pilots, autonomous control, planned. B-52 Stratofortress Long-range heavy bomber The B-52H is a long-range nuclear conventional bomber in USAF's primary standoff cruise missile carrier, the YB-52 prototype first flew on April 15, 1952, and Strategic Air Command declared IOC with the B-52A on June 19, 1955. Boeing produced a total of 744 B-52s culminating in the last Stratofortress variant still in service. The B-52H multi-mission capabilities include long-range precision strike, CAS, air interdiction, defense suppression, and maritime surveillance utilizing both lightning and sniper targeting pods. The B-52 is undergoing major upgrades to replace key obsolescent systems including engines, radar, comms, and weapons interface to extend the fleet through the 2050S Combat Network Communications Technology Connect recently replaced cockpit displays and calms and added integrated mission management, including Link-16 and machine-to-machine -machine tasking retargeting, it forms the digital backbone of the internal weapons bay upgrade transitioning the conventional rotary launchers designed for CALCM to carry the modern AGM-158B JASM ER. This nearly doubles the B-52's payload of JASSM, JDAM, and MALD, while reducing drag and increasing range, Connect also enables associated mods including tactical data link to add low latency, Jam resistance C2, comms, and GPS updates. USAF is pursuing both the radar modernization program to replace the B-52s and slash APQ-166 with ESA and the commercial engine replacement program, CRP, to re-engine the fleet. CRP will replace the B-52s current engines with modern, efficient, and reliable Rolls-Royce F-130-200 turbofans in a modified pylon-mounted 8-engine arrangement. Re-engine aircraft will be redesignated B-52J and fleet-wide retrofits are expected to be completed by 2038. ESA radar is planned for introduction in 2026 and future upgrades include VLFLF receiver modernization, ATP color MFDs to enhance targeting and situational awareness, AHF SATCOM installation, and crypto modernization. Integration of the future long-range standoff, LRSO, nuclear cruise missile will cement the B-52's nuclear role, complementing the B-21. Raider after retirement of the B-1 and B-2, potentially continuing to serve through the 2050s. B-52s have conducted at least nine successful LRSO test flights, culminating in a free flight launch in October 2022. Contractors, Boeing, Airframe Connect, Rolls-Royce, CRP, Collins, Aerospace, Nacelles, Raytheon, RMP. First flight, July 20, 1960, B-52H. Delivered, May 9, 1961 to October 26, 1962, B-52H. IOSing May 1961, B-52H. Production 102, B-52H. Inventory 76. Operator AFGSC, AFMC, AFRC. Aircraft location Barksdale AFB, La, Edwards AFB, California, Minot AFB, North Dakota. Active variants. B-52H longer range development of the original B-52A with more efficient turbofan engines. B-52J future modernized B-52H, retrofitted with more efficient Rolls-Royce F-130-200 turbofans. Dimensions span 185 feet, length 159.3 feet, height 40.7 feet, weight max TO 488,000 pounds. 
Power Plant 8 Pratt & Whitney TF33 P3 Turbofans, each 17,000 pounds thrust, performance, speed 650 miles per hour, range 8,800 miles, further with air refueling, ceiling, 50,000 feet, armament, nuclear, 12 AGM 86 BALCMs externally, and 8 ALCMs or, gravity weapons internally, conventional, 12 AGM 158 JSSM externally, and 8 JSSM RMLDM LDJ internally, upgraded aircraft, as well as MK-62C mines, MK-82-84 bombs, CBU-87-89 cluster bombs, CBU-103-104-105 WCMDs, GBU-31-38 dams, AGM-158 AJASMs, and GBU-10-12-28 LGBs, MLD, and ML DJ jammer variant. Accommodation, two pilots, navigator, radar navigator, and EWO on upward. Downward ejection seats, radar navigator position will be eliminated on the B-52J.